There are some feelings that we are experiencing on a day to day basis and they are making us feel like our life is miserable. Like anxiety, you know? But something that you really need to know about this type of emotions is that if you're not acknowledged, they're gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger. And anxiety is something that you have to be aware of when it arises. So in this video, I'm gonna help you to know whether you're feeling anxious or not so you can heal yourself in a better way. So I'm gonna tell you the six signs that you might be feeling anxious and I'm gonna give you solutions to better deal with them. By the way, hi, my name is Nabil Elias and on this channel, my aim is to keep you informed with your self-improvement knowledge, to keep you accountable to level up your lives. And of course, I wanna help you to overcome your feelings like anxiety. If you're interested with this type of content, why not join me by subscribing to this channel? So let me get into the first psychological sign that you might be feeling anxious. You view everything in a negative filter. You see, the first thing that comes into your mind when you're feeling anxious is that the whole world is perfect, everyone is happy and you're unhappy you're the only one who is anxious and facing problems so this leads to viewing every single thing in a negative filter in a negative way like if there are people around you and if they are laughing what do you think they are laughing because of me they are making fun of me when you walk past people and they are talking what do you say all right they're probably talking about me there's something off about me today or you feel overwhelmed and get angry on every micro things that you might encounter in your life if very little things are making you angry this might be signal that you're feeling anxious right now sign number two you're scared what might happen. Again, as I said in the beginning, when you are feeling anxious, you tend to view everything in a negative filter. So you're thinking, man, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if I lose my job? What if I lose this person? You start creating what if scenarios in your head, but a lot of it is just your mind trying to escape from danger and trying to make you focus on these things. All right, third one, shortness of breathing. If you feel like you're not breathing fully, if you feel like there's not enough air around you this might be a sign breathing is the greatest signal of your mind state yeah it might be another health condition but if your breathing is not right there's something wrong and it might be a signal that you're feeling anxious sign number four bad sleep when we sleep after having an intense emotion throughout the day that's gonna show up in our subconscious awareness you know this happens all the time when you have a big game tomorrow a presentation you know the night is not gonna be normal so if you're having trouble with sleeping you know waking up too early your sleep cycle is just messed up you're not feeling restful you have to be aware of these signals number five overthinking if you're making things seem like they're stronger, they're stressful, they're bigger. If you are thinking non-stop, even if you're not just making any solution to that, this also might be a signal. That's your anxiety. Last one, this is a very crucial one, all right? Hiding under your vices. You see, the most common thing that people try to do when they try to, you know, deal with anxiety is that they want to escape it by getting to their addictions, by doing pleasurable activities. The alcohol addiction, the drugs, the website addictions. So if you constantly catch yourself getting back to your vices, to your addictions, you know, to those things that you always say, all right, I'm going to quit. Like, this is the last time. Know that that is just your mind trying to escape from anxiety. So the solution, I've got three steps for you to overcome your anxiety. Step one is awareness. As I said in the beginning, acknowledging your emotions is very crucial to heal yourself. So in this video, I think you have identified whether you're feeling anxious or not. By the way, quick note here, if you have these signs that I've said in this video, that I've mentioned in this video, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're dealing with anxiety. Like you have to take your own personal test. So let me get back to my point. Acknowledge your emotions and don't fight them. Just face them. Now you might ask, how am I going to face my emotions without, you know, fighting with them? It is simple. Don't resist them let them be this is the backwards law the more you try to grab a hold of something the more it slips away second step is to kind of use your anxiety to tell you what parts of your life you need to focus on your problems you can ask yourself why am i feeling this way you know whether you are having some troubles financially physically mentally psychologically i mean just let your anxiety lead you to the root of your problems and you make this process easy by journaling by opening up to yourself by talking to yourself have a quiet time and just talk to yourself you know why do i feel this way is it true or is it just my mind creating things remember remember never try to escape it so the last step after being aware of it after using it to grow now you detach yourself from your anxiety basically knowing that you're not your anxiety it is just a reflection of your mindset at that moment not who you truly are when you realize this you don't fight it you don't try to control it instead you let it be you understand that anxiety comes and goes and comes and goes but it is not you you can just observe it as how you watch the clouds come and go detaching yourself from it all right guys so these are the six signs you might be feeling anxious i hope you found this video helpful and knowledgeable i really appreciate you watching this video thanks for watching ciao